Welcome back, eh? This is the Canadian Silver Seeker, and I hope you guys are having another great day like I am. Just got back from my weekly LCS trip, and this week I picked up two more silver dollars for the set. I only have two more silver dollars to pick up from my LCS, and then I've got, uh, got a couple on the way. And there's one more coming out in March, and my set will be complete until, obviously, more come out. Because they typically come out with more than one version of Silver Dollar each year. There's already been one for 2024, and I'm sure there will be more. But what did I get this week? Well, as you can see, there's two Silver Dollars in front of us, and I actually have a bar, too. I got the bar. We'll like take a look at that first here. This is actually a gift going out to STG. STG has worked for Scotiabank previously. He's mentioned this to me a few times. And I just recently got a package from him that I had purchased with the Reverse Proof Morgan and Peace Dollar set. And he gave me some amazing goodies, so I had to repay him. This is actually a bar that I do not have myself in my own bank collection, and I am envious of it, but I will be sending it away. I'll have to pick myself up one in the future. They call this the Flying S Scotiabank Bar. Scotiabank uh, went out of the precious metal business back in, I believe, 2016. And this one was even before that. I don't know the exact years or the mintage, but I love that multi S logo on there for Scotia Bank. Anyways, this will be going in the mail next week and out to STG. And I hope he enjoys it. Anyways, let's take a look at the silver dollars. The silver dollars that I got today are related to each other. Both of them are 2015 silver dollars and both are commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Canadian flag. It is uh, crazy to think that next year in 2025 that the Canadian flag will only be 60 years old. To me, you know, it's just amazing to even think that there was a different flag before this one. It's been here my whole life and, you know, sometimes it's just hard to imagine those things that, you know, we haven't grown up with. But anyways, this particular silver dollar does come in two different uh, design versions, one with a family on it. As you can see here, it looks like three people and possibly a baby and a in that uh, arm on the person on the right there or possibly in like a little baby carrier. Um, this particular one came in, uh, like I say, two different styles of the coin, um, but this particular version of the coin is a proof and it came in two variations, I guess you could say. It came in a set and I'll put that set up on the screen for you here. That set is the silver dollar, special silver dollar proof set. And the coins within that set, um, other than the silver dollar itself, are not silver. They're just proof coins. And I believe the 25 cent piece has an enameled flag on it for this specific uh, 50 year anniversary set of the Canadian flag. This particular coin also did come in a clamshell and this one just came in a 2x2 two two at my LCS because it was the cheapest. It probably came out of a set, I'm assuming. I don't know the exact numbers on this, but I'm going to use what I see on Numista and Numista's numbers show, you can actually see both versions of this coin and they show basically the same numbers with different percentages beside them. So something is a little odd. So the first one comes, it says 10,014 minted, 
but there's no information behind that. I believe that is the brilliant uncirculated version of this next coin that we'll, we will be looking at. I believe that is the mintage, 10,014 of a brilliant uncirculated. This one's actually a proof. It's not the brilliant uncirculated, but just it's the same design. Um, there's a second number, and if you look at both of these coins, it's the second version shows it that it is a proof version. So I think that that is the number of this one, but it is hard to say because one shows 19,932 and the other one shows 19,982. I think this was a misprint or a typo on Numista's side. And why I think this is because the first number is 10,014 and then the last number the mintage of the special edition silver proof set is actually 14,006 on both of them so there's a difference on the second number by like yeah by like 50 so 932 to 982 and a 3 looks very much like an 8 if you're not paying attention so I think that's what's went gone on there so I think there is approximately 20,000 of this particular coin minted. Now, I could be wrong. Like I say, it comes in two different versions. It comes in the clamshell, and it also comes in the set. And if you look those up um, on the Royal Canadian Mint's website, um, there are higher mintages. So it's very hard to say the exact mintage of this coin. But, like I say, very, very beautiful coin. And let's take a look at the second one here. This second one, the second version of the design, comes in three different, uh, you could say, variations. It comes in the clamshell proof variation. It also comes in a brilliant uncircul uncirculated version. And it comes in an enameled version. Let's take a look actually at the COA first. So if we take a look at the COA first on this one, as we can see, it says 20,000 minted. This one is 7,742 uh, 7, out of that 20,000 mintage. Both of these coins um, are the regular weights and diameters of silver dollars 2012 plus, 23.17 grams, which is just under three quarters of an ounce of silver, 36.07 millimeters, and it is made of pure silver. And that is, like I say, both of them. Take a quick look at this coin here. So as you can see, there is a difference. There is a uh, hiker, I guess, on this one underneath the coin, and the background is a little bit different. There's mountains on both sides. Whereas this one, there's mountains on the left, but they're, whoop, almost fell out of my hand there, but there's not really any mountains on the right, as you can see. But they are commemorating the same thing. Um, one more thing to note about this coin is in 2015, this is the first year that they didn't have a gold gilded version of the Canadian silver dollar past 2012. Anyways, basically 2012 past, most of, most of the years that I know of come with at least one silver dollar that is gold gilded and that silver dollar that is gold gilded comes with a full proof silver proof set so that comes with a, a silver loony a silver 50 cent piece a silver toony a silver dime a silver nickel um, and the penny has been discontinued after 2012 so that is not in most sets but yeah the enameled is they say on the numista that the enameled red enameled flag one is the first year that the Royal Canadian Mint decided to do this with the enameled instead of making a gold gilded one. And it does look very fancy. I'll put a picture up there of the set. And yeah, it's quite a fancy little coin with the, you know, enameled red flag, just like our flag in Canada here. 
But like I say, this one came in three different versions. Um, Brilliant Uncirculated. So the Brilliant Uncirculated, I'll show you a picture of that. Um, basically shows the flag and those areas there to be, you know, shiny rather than matted. Um, like I say, the, ver the uh, mintage of that was 10,014. And then this also came in the proof edition. So I don't know the exact mintage of the proof. The clamshell says 20,000. When you look on Numista, it actually comes up with the 19,982. Whereas the three person one comes up with 19,932. So maybe those numbers are right. And each one is a proof with the mintage. It's very possible. But like I say, it seemed very similar to me because if you look at the top number and then you look at the bottom number, special edition silver proof set, and then the other one says that's with the three people, it says special edition silver proof set, whereas the other one says proof colored set, and that would be the special edition that is the only set that came out this year with the proof silver coins the full set as far as i know which would be you know the enameled one of this this one in the set the coins are not silver anyways that was a bit of a long one bit of an explanation very very beautiful coins but anyways thanks for listening to me ramble remember it doesn't cost you a single piece of silver or gold to like and subscribe. You guys mean the world to me. Happy stacking, eh?